Hi there, traders. This is Brad Goodwill with today's trading action. All right, now let's just have a look at the major currency pairs. Dollar index up through the roof and uh, dollar Swiss holding on to gains as is dollar yen. Dollar CAD shooting topside. And then you've got a bit of a clean out here. Euro, sterling, Aussie, Kiwi, right? Now, this is where the markets really come back to sort of working on one focal point. And these moves, it's not just from one news event, right? It's it's a bit of a rollback of the Fed's, um, you know, possible um, rate cutting situation. Now, those consumer sentiment numbers we had a couple of days ago, it's like a second tier number, almost third tier, but really strong. It saw the equity, uh, sorry, the US Treasury bonds start to rally the top side. Now, what that does for us, if, if the uh, interest rates basically are going up in the States and the the bonds here have gone through the roof, right? So there's a massive demand for dollars. Higher interest rates means a higher value of the currency. So I tell you what, the BOJ are going to be absolutely prepping themselves because they can't intervene in this environment. The market will just take all the dollars and take them higher. So higher interest rates in the US, you're going to see lower equity markets. And we should start to see a risk off uh, profile on the markets where Euro, Sterling, Aussie, Kiwi go down. Now, just understand the cycle of the movements here, right? If I just come back to the charts, like the key event was in the US, right? So during the Asian session, you usually sort of get a bit of, you know, profit taking, roll back, and then the move will continue, right? So you might see a little bit of a correction here on Euro, Sterling, Aussie, and Kiwi, right? But you know what? This play it isn't just on for today right so for right now this is a really good thing as we come into the us gdp figures tonight and or today and the pce price index on um friday primarily because we have like us dollar direction right the bond the the increase in bond yields will will be around for a, at least a few days right we may see it change if we see weakness in the US GDP numbers or the PCE price index. But right now, you can be confident to go with that strong dollar trend. But as I said, in the Asian session, you might see a slight correction in some of these numbers. Now, today, we've got a whole bunch of uh, numbers coming out um, to keep an eye on, right? This is where these events will now become a little bit more active because we have that dollar direction. So we've got some building approvals, uh, capital expenditure is a, uh, a good number to be looking at as well there for the Aussie dollar. We've got GDP numbers, the COP indicator out of Switzerland. And if I just scroll down a touch, we've got a whole bunch of sentiment numbers out of the Eurozone, right, as well as the unemployment rate now. Sentiment numbers, like we saw in the US, are having an impact. So make sure if you are in front of the screens that you do keep an eye on those numbers. Now, coming into the US session, I think the US GDP numbers, okay, are going to take a little bit more and the jobless claims, any US numbers right now will be a little bit more important, right? Stronger numbers here. You're going to see the US Treasury yields keep going up. Stronger dollar, right? That's that's very clear. But if we see significant um, weakness in a bunch of these numbers, well, that can turn the Treasuries around very quickly. Now, don't forget the market is pretty fickle at the moment. So keep an eye on these numbers as we go through the course of the trading day. The uh, you know the key to looking at the markets, just follow what's going on um, across the board. One eye on the treasuries. Of course, you want to be watching these. That should impact if they keep going up. Uh, equities down. And then we could look for a risk on risk off sentiment in the major currency pairs, right? This is good. It's not one economic number. It's a collection of US numbers that have created this situation. And we've got some good US numbers coming up. So that can give us uh, some more answers. So just follow the trail. Don't overinvest and uh, wait for the good, good trading opportunities. All right, guys. Good luck. Happy trading.